Welcome to the Real Illusion iClone and Character Creator AI Render Beta. Hi, I'm Max Thomas. I'm an AI specialist and creative technologist with Actor Capture. We design real-time VFX pipelines for film, animation, and virtual production. I'm also a professor of practice at Georgia State University's Creative Media Industries Institute, where we train the next generation of real-time creators. And I'm Jane C. Martin animation director and CEO of Actor Capture. We've worked on major studio films like The Suicide Squad, The Electric State, and Lyle Lyle Crocodile, bringing high-end motion capture and character animation to life across film, TV, and immersive media. We're pushing Gen AI deeper into production, not just as a gimmick, but as a controllable, professional-grade pipeline that puts real power in the hands of directors, animators, and artists. We are entering a new frontier, one where artists don't just prompt artificial intelligence. We direct it. With iClone's latest AI render tools, we're no longer guessing. We can harness the full power of a CG engine, pose, lighting, animation, even facial expression, and use that to guide AI like a director on set. It's not about automation. It's about creative control and a render quality that hits cinematic levels on demand. And it all starts in Character Creator where you build clean, production-ready IP characters you can use across any platform, not just AI renders, but Unreal, Unity, or even film and TV pipelines. And the glue that holds this whole system together is Comfy UI. Comfy is a node-based AI playground where you can build custom render workflows using powerful open source tools like Flux1 Dev and WAN Fusion X. It's fully modular, meaning once you understand the basics, you can build your own image, video, or animation workflows from scratch. I'm not just generated. I'm designed. Every detail, my pose, my lighting, even my gaze, it all starts in iClone and flows into AI for a deeper render. Ha ha, that's right, Camila. And what makes Comfy so unique is how well it connects to structured inputs from tools like iClone. We can export control net maps straight from the CG scene, depth, pose, or edge lines, and use those to steer the AI output in real time. That means we're not just generating, we're directing. And when we pair that with LoRa's, that's where the consistency kicks in. LoRa's are like creative DNA. They help you lock in a character's look, art style, or motion identity across any scene. Whether it's Camila holding a product, dancing in a crowd, or staring into camera, the Laura makes sure casting remains consistent. You can change the lighting, the pose, even the costume. I'm still me, just maybe more realistic. And because iClone can generate high quality, consistent data sets, we can train Laura's fast with perfect angle and lighting variation, all tailored to each character, prop, or even environment. This is how we bridge CG and AI. This is a professional pipeline, not just for images, but for cinematic storytelling. With powerful tools like iClone and Comfy UI, artists can finally guide stable diffusion, like a camera, like a pencil, like a performance. AI image generation is powerful, but left on its own, it's unpredictable. Beautiful, sometimes. Repeatable, never. What Relusion has built is a pipeline that guides AI, with the same tools artists already know. We pre-direct every frame with real characters, animation, lighting, and layout, then pipe that into advanced systems like Comfy UI, Flux1 Dev, and WAN Local or On Run Pod. This isn't prompting. This is directing. The difference? They ask AI for a scene. We tell it what to do. Now, let's dive into one of our most important tools for keeping character identity consistent across AI renders. Laura training. And we will be introducing someone special to help us out. Meet Kevin. He is an iconic identity within the Relusion character lineup, and for this demo, we're building a 26 image Laura to preserve his look, emotion, and wardrobe fidelity. Let's be honest. I look great from every angle. Let's make sure I stay that way. Don't worry, Kevin. We start an iClone, where we direct and output a perfect data set, 26 angles, varied lighting setups, and a full spectrum of facial expressions. These aren't random screenshots, they're intentionally staged using the same tools we use in actual production. Once we have our data set, we bring it into FluxGym and train the LoRa using RunPod and an RTX 4090. On screen, you can see the 26 images that feed into our training. Each one is captioned and tagged using ChatGPT. This helps break down the character's trigger word, physical description, and to remove excess fluff for optimized metadata refinement. Clean captions matter. They help the model associate Kevin's face, mood, 
outfit, and lighting with clear verbal structure. The result is a lore that can be used again and again for new renders in any pipeline. I'm basically a plug and play action hero now. And yes, the eyebrows are part of the package. And because we control the look and feel from the start, we can decide how general or specific we want to go. A broad Laura with many outfits gives you more flexibility. A locked wardrobe gives you perfect brand control for commercial use. Once it's trained, Kevin becomes a modular, controllable asset. He stays on model, on brand, and emotionally responsive. So what is the power of a low-rank adaptation file? It's character DNA. If you want reliable characters that stay locked across shots, scenes, and emotions, this is how you build them. And yes, we can share the screen. Just don't expect Kevin to hit his marks on the first take. Hey, my takes are perfect. You're just mad I upstaged you in the desert scene. Now let's shift gears. We are diving into one of the most powerful uses of AI in production, the stylized commercial shot. These are hero moments where character, lighting, composition, and product all come together. This entire scene starts in Character Creator, where Camila is built from scratch. Every detail, from her bone structure to wardrobe, is handcrafted. We then bring her into iClone, where we animate the performance and build out the scene's lighting, camera, and motion, all in real time. Once the scene is staged, it moves seamlessly into Comfy UI via Reillusion's custom AI render plugin, where it injects a multi-lore stack and up to three control net maps, depth, canny and pose. Flux1 Dev gives us final control over the image with the addition of a properly structured prompt to guide the final output and to produce high levels of cinematic fidelity. From camera lens to facial angle, even hair flow, every piece is authored in character creator and eye clone first, then interpret it with precision. Good hair days guaranteed. Just don't ask me to explain the physics. I'm AI, not a stylist. This type of targeted AI generation is useful for content branding product visualization, pitch decks, instant hero shots without all the guesswork. It's not just a pretty render. It's a repeatable system that produces results on demand. Next up, voice performance. If you're building characters in Character Creator and animating an iClone, the final piece is making them speak with real emotion, and that's where Chatterbox TTS changes the game. Chatterbox is a professional-grade voice synthesis tool, fully integrated inside Comfy UI. Whether you're doing text-to-speech or voice cloning, it gives you minute-level output with near-perfect timing. The sweet spot? Start with clean 10 to 15 second audio samples, voice matched and prepped. Remember segmenting your dialogue allows you to really dial in your performance. You can direct inflection, even style match a previous line or target sample. Scripted or not, I know how to deliver a line. This face wasn't built to mumble. The entire character pipeline, from character creator to iClone to Chatterbox, stays within your creative control. Now let's talk control. What makes our system truly powerful is how we drive the output. This isn't guess and check prompting, it's precise. And the secret weapon? Control Net. Each of these layers gives you targeted control. Want Camila's hair just right? Use Normal or Canny from iClone. Need Kevin to strike a precise pose with emotion? Combine open pose with depth and canny for accuracy. Personally, depth maps are where I live. I dial them in to refine the likeness, facial shape, hand detail, eyes, clothing, even shadows and fall off. That's the sauce. If you over crank it though, you'll lose subtlety. So I start between 45 and 55%. The official recommended range is usually between 35 and 65%. Too much depth? You'll smooth me out like a plastic doll. No thanks. Exactly you want to strike a balance. The beauty of this system is that the same tool can render a cinematic close-up or a wide city shot with fidelity most platforms can't touch. I don't just hit my mark, I pose with purpose. And these maps catch it all. From iClone to Flux, each layer of control lets you make intentional choices. You're not just generating, you're directing every pixel. Everything we just showed was still images. That same precision carries straight into video. ControlNet doesn't stop at keyframes, it directs motion. Video generation works a little differently. You don't want to over-describe. With models like WAN Fusion, a simple prompt works best. Just focus on what's happening and let your visuals do the heavy lifting. You are already designing the look and character creator in iClone. That's where you lock in style, lighting, and motion. So your prompt just needs to guide action and mood. The rest, handled upstream. Tell me what to do, not how I look doing it. That's iClone's job. Full body motion, actor core's got it. 
Fight scenes, dance loops, subtle interaction, baked into iClone and passed cleanly into your video gen tool. You get consistency, silhouette control, and choreography without limits. Video generation isn't chaos anymore. It's performance driven, from your rig to your render. Once your characters are ready and your scenes are blocked, it's time to light the fuse. This is where CG meets AI in a workflow that scales from your laptop to the cloud. If you've got a powerful local NVIDIA GPU, ideally 24 gigabytes of VRAM or more, you can run high quality models right from your own machine. And if you need more juice, tools like RunPod let you scale up fast. Whether you're testing locally on a 4090 or rendering a full cinematic sequence on a 96 gigabyte RTX 6000 Pro Blackwell, the power's in your hands. And deadlines? Suddenly a lot more reasonable. The process starts where it always should, in iClone. You import your character creator asset, set your scene, animate your shot using familiar tools. And when it's ready, you export your control net maps, depth, pose, and canny. Don't forget to light me well. You know how picky I am about my shadows. Once your maps are prepped, it's time to load into Flux 1D. Here we bring in our custom LoRa stack, in this case, Flux Realism and Kevin Identity, and start dialing in the look. The trick is balancing CG Kevin and real Kevin just right. We recommend finding a strong seed to anchor your look and adjusting control net strength based on your shot needs. Depth between 35 and 65% usually hits the sweet spot. Too much and you lose fine details like fingers and hair. Too little and likeness fades and Kevin becomes Steve or Marty pretty quick. I always tell Kevin, balance is everything, especially when you're being AI generated in 4K. Flux 1 Dev thrives on minimal force. Set the CFG to 1, denoise to 1, and run 20 28 steps. Stick to 1280 by 720 for test passes, but if you're going to 1080p or 4K for final output, consider portrait over landscape. It keeps the character detail razor sharp. Once your stills are locked, it's time to move to WAN Fusion X, the final stretch. Here, prompt should be simple. Don't describe your character. Flux and Icone already took care of that. Just guide the action, camera moves, and any VFX like smoke, fire, or magic. I raise my sword. The sky cracks open. You want epic? Just say the word. WAN is seriously powerful, but only when it's driven with purpose. With iClone and ControlNet, you get true directional control, not just cool output, real-time decisions made by real creatives. Let's take a closer look at the bridge between iClone and Comfy UI, the engine room of this whole system. The iClone AI render panel is your direct line into Comfy. From here, you can export your control net maps. Depth, pose, canny, normal, all rendered straight from your 3D scene, exactly how you staged it. Hair looking good? Check. Lighting on point? Check. Go ahead and hit that export button. I'm ready for my close-up. This isn't just a plugin slapped on top, it's a real-time pipeline. You're seeing your vision transfer from timeline to inference without losing fidelity or sacrificing your creative control. It's wild, man. You move your CG character in iClone and Flux nails it one-to-one -one in the final render. It's not just AI, it's AI you can direct. If you want to run AI like an artist, the Real Illusion AI Render Bridge tool is a game changer. No more prompt roulette. You are in control of every frame and every pixel. Everything you've seen so far, that's just stage one. But what comes next is where this pipeline really earns its name. We're already delivering IP characters with trained AI voice profiles, real-time dialogue delivery, synced lips, and full body animation, all driven by your ActorCore mocap, facial capture, or key framework inside iClone. I'm not just a voice. I'm a performance-ready character produced in Character Creator, animated in iClone, rendered at 4K in Flux, and yes, I hit every single mark. This isn't a toy. This is a pro-level AI augmentation suite for creators who already know how to block, shoot, and animate, and want to skip the render bottleneck and get to creative visualization faster. That fight scene you just watched, it was blocked, staged, lit, rendered, and directed entirely through this pipeline. And guess what? It only gets sharper from here. And it all starts where it should. Character creator. These characters are yours. Clean, exportable, transferable, built for real scenes, scalable for entire productions. No third-party datasets. Just real, owned, reusable characters. 
ready to act across any media you produce with this amazing pipeline. And if you're ready to dive deeper, Max and I are hosting exclusive character creator and iClone Comfy UI webinars and live sessions to help get our Reillusion family of users up to speed, breaking down our full workflows, advanced mocap integration, and studio-grade AI cinematics from start to finish, face to fingertip. From indie producer to AAA pitch, the power is here. You just need to pick it up and set your inner AI director free.